Time to head into the kitchen this morning and look who we found, <laughs> Chef D. Hey, Are you pouring yourself a beer already? Oh yeah, it's 12 o'clock somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> it totally is, of course. Absolutely, well, you, in your world, you anything goes. Exactly, and for you, probably been up since 2 a.m., so, right? Yeah, right, exactly, so it's fine. <laughs> exactly, so, hey, I thought we'd do something kind of comfort food, it's kind of cooling down a little bit. Yep. Let's do like a buffalo chicken salad or sandwich. And I have just, you just have got to follow me for a second because I'm, I'm, I'm in the kitchen at Deer Ridge. So um, we're just toasting off some um, croissants. Oh. And a, and a beautiful brioche bun right now. Yummy. So the so whole thing with fried chicken here in Canada, it seems to be becoming way more popular. Obviously, you know, you can find fried chicken anywhere in southern United States, right? And all of a sudden it's come north and we're all about the fried chicken sandwich these days. A hundred percent. And there's so many different ways to do it. And again, it's just, I think it's just comfort food. And, you know, yeah. we're going to use um, Nature Farms pasture raised chicken breast, but you could use chicken thighs and chicken thighs are, have a little bit more fat to them. So they will be a little bit moisture in the sandwich for you. Um, mm. You know, and then whenever you're looking for chicken, you always want to do air chilled versus water chilled because you know that they're not going to pump it full of any water and it, it's going to be the natural product that you're looking for. Right. So, and I want to go over the size because it's going to be really quick to cook this. I mm -hmm. have some fresh tomatoes again that have just, again, from our garden here at Deer Ridge, we had a whole bunch of tomatoes this year. Some fresh basil, some cucumbers, some Bothwell aged cheddar because, you know, we need some one-year-old cheddar in our lives. I, I have, have to say, those are the best looking tomatoes I've seen all year. <laughs> <laughs> nice you know work. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then um, I have some toasted onions and I also have some caramelized onions. And Leslie, I have our secret ingredient, deep fried Brussels sprouts. <gasps> oh. it's, the, it's the only way to eat Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts and so does my son, but this sounds like a really great idea on a chicken sandwich. So, yeah, just, um, just again, put in the deep fryer or fry it for just like 30 seconds. Okay, okay. so we got a little bit of flour. You can mm -hmm. do this with gluten-free flour or a gluten-free breadcrumbs. So then we're gonna dip it into our egg mixture. Mm -hmm. Pop it into, we have some panko crumbs here. Okay. Um, but you can use any kind of bread crumbs as you like or, or gluten-free crumbs. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna take it. Now, if you were at home and you're doing this in, um, in your house, you'd wanna have a pan like this and then put the oil in that about halfway up and you want it long, deep sides so it doesn't spill over on you. We're just right. gonna put it in our deep fryer. Mm -hmm. You have to be like very so. cookie, very, very careful when cooking fried chicken in your home, right? When heating oil and that. We don't need yeah. the fire department visiting. <laughs> no, no, it's never a good thing having the fire department over for a party. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing, too, is if you want, you can do it outside. You know, there's a lot of induction burners now that you can take outside and it's a little yes. bit safer if you like. So good we're idea. just going to do two here. Mm -hmm. And then while they're cooking, I'm just going to grab our bread here. And then um, I, I brought along some refreshments. I know we joked about it before, but yep. Waterloo has their new spice beer out for, for Oktoberfest here in the region. Awesome. And of course the amber is really great. Um, and then we're gonna dip our chicken in some Chef D butter hot sauce. So this is just oh. taking some Frank's um, hot sauce, put a little bit of Frank's in and clarified butter. You wanna use clarified butter, okay. um, half and half, and it's absolutely perfect. So we're just gonna build our sandwiches, a little bit of cheese on each one, some tomatoes, some caramelized onions. Oh, you're you're really like dressing this sandwich up. This is oh, not yeah, your average is, chicken sandwich. No, of course and then we're gonna take our Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> our toasted onions. I, I have some amazing Nutri Farm strip bacon, double full, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh. so, and, um, Whenever the chicken, they'll be done when it's floating, so it's almost floating here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab my hot sauce. Oh, so you're just gonna throw it in there right yep. right out of the, oh, yeah. the fryer. Oof. And that goes like so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Put that on. I can hardly wait till we're back with you guys live. Are I know, can we can't either. Eating. We're all thinking that right now. We wish you were here, Chef D. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And, and uh, that, with a Waterloo beer, you're like cooking. That is <laughs> a fabulous 
fabulous meal. Thank you so much. Great ideas and uh, great flavors there. All right, Thanks, we'll see Leslie. you again soon. All right, quick Take break. Care. We'll be right back. <laughs>